Oh my God. <laughs> it's gonna make my life so much easier. Uh, wow. Well, it was there when we bought it, and I just replaced it. That's you know, I did. gonna take away from my workout during the day. <laughs> you won't <laughs> have, have to, to live this big, heavy four-stroke anymore. Yeah. Hey everyone, it's Exo Man, and I have a treat for some of you today. This is really cool. Um, what I want to show you is a way that you can use an actuator motor for a trim tab on a boat to lift a small boat motor, okay? Using just a few parts, like I have here. Come on and let me show you what's going on. I'm actually replacing this actuator um, here. And, let's see this boat, ordinarily the, the motor would be attached to the transom, but this whole part with the turnbuckles here has been uh, fabricated for this boat to, to just bring the motor up higher. So it's kind of a bigger motor for this transom. So that's just elevated it, but that's not what I want to show you. This is what I want to show you. I don't know. Let's see what you can see here. I'm going to add a couple of parts that are machined that just have been created for this unit. Uh, I'll put these on real quick and show you how this works. Now I'm going to do all this again after I show you, but for now, now you see this pin here? Can you see where I'm going to put this? I think so. Okay. All right, get a good shot in there, camera girl. <laughs> now I've got the spacer here. This Can you see this nylon spacer here? Look down here. Oh, see that? Where are you? There you are. That's just a nylon spacer that I'm also going to put on the outside of this unit. I'm going to slide that, you can't see through my hand, I'm sure, but I'm going to slide this, let me try to get it up in there for you to take a look at, in there, and I'm going to, okay, there we go, now I've got that pin through there, all right, so I have, the, I have this actuator pinned in place, and you saw the parts that I used, now come down here and look again. This is a part that has been fabricated for the bottom because this Delrin, I think it's called, I don't remember the name of this material, but it's not strong enough to uh, put a pin through here and use by itself. So what we've, what was originally done is uh, this piece was created to go up over this stainless shaft and it was epoxied onto it. And I can show you, let me grab the old one. This one is being replaced. Um, but this is how it was originally designed by the machinist who made this, this boat. Mm -hmm. And now, eventually, uh, the original unit, it was, it was, something was knocked into it and it was cracked and it, where there was some water intrusion. So, but what I'm gonna do here Instead of cutting this tab off like the old the old one was, I'm going to take this. You see, there's a hole through here. I'm going to take. I'm going to drill a hole through here to match that, and I'm going to just use a cotter pin, and it'll kind of free float like that. But anyway, the intention is to drop it down, and and it'll be received right in here, like so. Cool. All right. Now. Go back up a little bit. I'll show you. Now, watch that motor. I've got a switch here. I've got it wired already. How about that? Cool. Just like new. There you, there you go. You've got a, a trim tab actuator lifting a motor. Easy peasy, right? Very cool. Uh-huh. And we've just got one more step to go, and that is to secure that to the end of that piston there. And Houston, we have contact. See my little switch here? So we've just, you know, of course brought the wire over through here. 
up through this throttle box and into the console here. And uh, what you need is like a three position rocker switch so that the you have the three positions. Up is on, middle is off, and down is down. Up is up, down is down, middle is off, however you want to say that. Up, off, down. Alright, simple as that. Now, nice. the last one was used on this boat for 10 years, so this works. And here is the exact unit that I'm working with. It's the Lenco 102 series. Let's show you. And uh, there it is. And here's another part. Here's another part number for that. 15059-001. Those things are rated to lift about a thousand pounds, or push about a thousand pounds of pressure. Wow, and how heavy is that motor? That's a pretty heavy motor. It's a four stroke. Yeah. Uh, 147 pounds. And you don't have to do exactly this rig. And you see, we, again, we've got these turnbuckles reinforcing the weight of this motor on this, on this aluminum board. But again, that's not part of what I wanted to show you today. I just wanted to show you that you can use an actuator to lift the motor. And these, you can buy these depending on the duty and the, you know, the, the, the level of the unit you buy. They can be anywhere from $150 to $350. But to have that kind of power and lift on your motor is just invaluable. Yeah. And this is our flounder gigging rig, so we don't want to have, we don't want to be jumping back here and lifting this motor manually. Right. All right. Let's get ready to go gigging. Thanks for watching, everyone, and good luck with your project. What do you think of the boat? I love it. Is it a good, a good choice? It was. Yeah. yeah. It's fun taking it for a little spin last night. Yeah. I don't have to take it out, did you? him to shore. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, throw.